African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 19th of September, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to conduct a special military operation. Units of the North Group of Forces in the Lipsy and Vovchansk directions inflicted defeat on the formations of the 57th Motorized Infantry Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the 5th Border Detachment of the Border Service of Ukraine, the Foreign Legion in the 113th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Lipsy, Vovchansk in the Kharkiv region and the city of Kharkiv. A counterattack by the assault group of the nationalist formation Kraken was repelled. The enemy lost more than 195 servicemen, an armored personnel carrier, and three vehicles. And the 122mm self-propelled artillery unit Gvozdika. Units of the West Group of Forces improved their tactical position and inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 14th, 44th, 53rd, 63rd, 116th Mechanized, 3rd Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, the 1st National Guard Brigade and the 125th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Kovsharovka, Vasilevka, Petropavlovka, Borovea, Kreblyakovka in the Kharkiv region, Krasny Lyman, Serebryanka, and Novovodinoy in the Luhansk People's Republic. The enemy's losses amounted to 420 servicemen, a Cossack combat armored vehicle, 11 vehicles, a 155mm self-propelled artillery unit Braveheart made in Great Britain, two 155mm howitzers M777 and a 155mm howitzer M198 made in the USA. A 152mm gun D20, a 155mm howitzer FH70 made in Great Britain, a 122mm self-propelled artillery unit Gvozdika, a 122mm howitzer D30, and a 122mm Verba multiple launch rocket system. Three electronic warfare stations and three field ammunition depots were destroyed. Units of the Southern Group of Troops, as a result of active and decisive actions, liberated the settlement of Georgievka in the Donetsk People's Republic. They inflicted defeat on the formations of the 24th, 28th, 30th, 33rd, 118th Mechanized, 143rd Infantry and 56th Motorized Infantry Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the areas of the settlements of Konstantinovka, Kurakovo, Grigorovka. Zelizniansk and Chesavyar of the Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian armed forces lost up to 690 servicemen, two martyr infantry fighting vehicles made in Germany, eight cars, a 155mm M777 howitzer and a 105mm M119 gun made in the USA, three 122mm D30 howitzers, an Anklov and electronic warfare station, and an N-TPQ-50 counter-battery radar made in the USA. Units of the center group of forces occupied more advantageous positions, inflicted losses on the manpower and equipment of the 68th Infantry, 71st Jaeger, 5th Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 109th Territorial Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Dzerzinsk, Kalinovo, Gorky, Mykolovka, and Rozovka of the Donetsk People's Republic. They repelled nine counterattacks by assault groups of the 25th Airborne Brigade of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, the Light Assault Brigade of the National Police of Ukraine, the 2nd, 3rd, 12th, and 142nd Brigades of the National Guard. The enemy's losses amounted to over 510 servicemen, two vehicles, a 152mm howitzer to be, a 122mm howitzer D30, a 105mm gun M101 made in the USA, and 100mm rapier anti-tank gun. Units of the East Force Group improved the position along the front line inflicted damage on the manpower and equipment of the 58th Motorized Infantry Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and the 118th Territorial Defense Brigade, 
and the areas of the settlements of Dobravali and Zolate and Neva of the Donetsk People's Republic. Two counterattacks by assault groups of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces were repelled. The enemy lost up to 95 servicemen, two vehicles, a French-made 155mm Caesar self-propelled artillery unit, a 155mm Bogdana self-propelled artillery unit, and a 122mm D-30 howitzer. Units of the Dnieper Group of Forces inflicted defeat on formations of the 141st Infantry Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and the 39th Coastal Defense Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Veselyanka and Yulievka in the Zaporizhia region. The Ukrainian Armed Forces lost up to 30 servicemen in two vehicles. Operational Tactical Aviation, Unmanned Aerial Vehicles Missile forces and artillery of the groups of troops of the armed forces of the Russian Federation hit the main center of special radio communications of the main intelligence directorate of the armed forces of Ukraine. Critically important objects of the airfield infrastructure of Ukraine, as well as concentrations of enemy manpower and military equipment in 142 districts. 41 Ukrainian aircraft type unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down by air defense systems. Since the beginning of the special military operation, a total of 646 aircraft, 283 helicopters, 31,765 unmanned aerial vehicles, 579 anti-aircraft missile systems, 18,167 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,455 multiple launch rocket systems, 14,813 field artillery pieces and mortars, and 26,203 special military vehicles have been destroyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.